asked by members what they need to carry with them when they travel overseas. We'll just go through um, some of the equipment that you need. Uh, most countries have a requirement that you carry a high-vis vest um, that, you can, that you need to keep in the car and put on before you get out of the car if you've broken down and you're outside a built-up area or if you're on the motorway and you break down, the safest place to wait for recovery is the other side of the crash barrier. So although the legal requirement is the one per car, we would recommend that you take one per passenger because if there's four of you in the car and you all have to get out after a breakdown, everybody needs to carry a high vis vest. The other thing that you need to carry is a warning triangle. In Spain and in Croatia it's recommended that you carry two if you're towing a caravan. You either need to have a GB sticker on the back of your vehicles or the new European style number plate that has GP on it. This is a very popular question that comes up about the requirement to carry a breathalyzer. At the moment the requirement is um, it still has a decree number in French law but there's no punishment or fine if you don't carry one. So if you ask the question, is it a legal requirement to carry one, the answer is yes. If your question is, do I need to carry one, the answer is actually no. Um, this I would leave to a personal choice. If you like to have everything just so, carry a breathalyzer. If not, um, I've not heard anybody actually be asked to produce one if they have been stopped by the police. There is also a law that you cannot dazzle the oncoming traffic. Many members think that there's a law that you have to put beam benders on your car. You don't have to use beam benders if you have straight headlights or you can manually adjust them. As long as you're not dazzling the oncoming traffic, then that's absolutely fine. Moving on to the paperwork that you need to take with you. You have to carry by law your driving licence, your V5C document, which used to be called the logbook, you need to provide proof that you have insurance and also carry your MOT certificate. For your caravan, you're not legally required to carry any paperwork at all, but the police in European countries are used to caravans being registered in their own right and they're used to having a registration document. So we would recommend that you Chris register your caravan and take that with you, but it isn't a legal requirement to do so. It just means that if you are stopped by the police, you have the right amount of papers to hand over and that's what they're used to seeing. booked a site and you're touring in Europe, France, Spain, Portugal, we have a range of guides which you might find of use. This is the uh, Touring France guide. Uh, it's unique in the sense that it's actually sites that are reported on from members. Uh, I actually used to be the editor of this publication uh, back on, in the 2012-2013 edition so I know how valuable the advice from members is. website before you leave home for a European holiday. Details of compulsory equipment requirements and a checklist are continuously updated on our website. As well as the compulsory equipment we have here, we would also recommend members to carry a fire extinguisher and a first aid kit as these are legal in a couple of European countries. Of course if you've got any questions that we haven't covered in this short video, why not go on to Club Together, the Caravan Club's online community. We've got an overseas section where you can speak to Hazel directly, she's regularly on there, uh, to ask for her help and advice. We also have some excellent advice from members too.